What's going on YouTube? Dorothy Ozzy here. Got an unboxing video for you all today. This is the Nacon Revolution Unlimited Pro Controller. Bluetooth, uh, wired and wireless. Mm, got that official product license. We got uh, just some of the things it includes. You can take a look there. Neat little case. Mm, what else we got? We got some, uh, just the layout of the controller looks like, all the buttons and what they do. Alright, uh, cool. Well, let's uh, get to this unboxing. I The most I've done is broke this little seal, so. First reactions. Oh, there you go. We got a arcade stick, neat black box. Uh, is this uh, some type of private, some instructions? Wow, alright. First of all, this is a nice case. You can just hear it. Let's get a listen of that zipper. Yep, solid zipper. All right, here we go. Whoa, it's got some heft to it, feels like. Nice cloth. Mm, this is probably just a cable. Type C, oops. Type C cable. All righty. Oh, this feels interesting. I didn't, uh, I seen videos of this. Very hmm. of course this is just an unboxing video. It's pretty light. It feels pretty light. I like this texture. It feels smooth yet soft. This grip feels nice, you can really feel the difference. I don't know if you can This feels smooth. This feels a little bit grippier. Alright, yeah, this I'm 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 really satisfied with this. This is really nice. I mean. <clears throat> okay. Here are the buttons. So this is just me holding the controller regularly. I'm not doing anything weird or holding it a certain way. But these buttons, I feel like they're a little bit too, kind of like I gotta take a look at my hand. It's me holding it regularly. My fingers are down here. But with these buttons, kind of gotta do like a retract my fingers. I mean, I can feel the buttons fine. I can feel this where it changes, but you know what? Not so bad. It's not like a huge adjustment. Well, I won't know until I start playing. I'll probably play some more zones sometime. But this is just an unboxing video. So this is yeah, this is the controller as you can see. We got the doggle. Plug this in. It's flexible. I'm sure if you if anyone's seen any videos on this controller. Oh, this is interesting. Here we got, got the little compartment. Off. I, I've watched videos on this controller already, so I kind of got the gist of what, what is in here. It's going to be the different sticks, the different joysticks. This is round, as you can see, round top. The ones that got on it now are the indented. Here it fits in there. But these are interesting. These are little weights, you know. 16 grams, 14 grams, 10 grams. All right. Well, controller feels pretty light. Ugh, come on. Whatever. Is that right there? All right, so this is the Nacon controller. Let's pop this back on. Well, I 
haven't just came in the mail yeah it feels really good i mean it feels like a really nice build so that's that and let's take a step back we got the playstation dual shock this one you know feels good too stock so with this i bought it a while back i mean not the controller i mean of course the controller but this back button attachment here I don't know if you guys have seen this before. It's basically two extra buttons. Mappable. Let's pop in the back. It slips right on. You got two buttons. You can map it. You just press the... Well, I think the controller has to be on. Oh, it's probably dead. But whatever. I used to uh, use... You know, I don't really have to... I don't think, yeah, I think this just got a little bit, took a little time to get used to, but it's, uh, you know, it's a decent buy. I think it's like 30 bucks. Sony product, so works fine with the controller. But now I have the uh, PS5 and I haven't been playing my PS4. So, you know, it's a great controller. It gets those haptic feedbacks for the games that have them. It gets the parallel. <clears throat> joysticks you know like sony always does but this nacon one has the what do you call it offset i guess you know just overall i think huh so this joystick feels like it got i don't know if it's just me or no this joystick gets a little bit more play in it or it's a little bit a little bit less resistant. I don't know. It just feels really smooth. Try this one. This one gets, uh, yeah, this one gets more tension in it. Let's check that. PS4. Oh yeah, these PS5, PS4 controllers got about the same amount of tension. But what I really like is, um, you know, PS5. You get this little ring in here from playing shooter games because this is your move stick so that's one of the things that's you know a bummer but you know they try and uh this one's the same way you know this little plastic i haven't played too much of this one so it's not all worn but this guy right here got this friction ring along with uh i don't know what kind of metal this is maybe it's aluminum but damn, this feels smooth. Like, just rolling on the side of this, I don't feel any friction. It's just smooth, like a well-oiled machine of some type. But, you know what? Oh. oh, these. You know, these buttons are fairly easy to press, even though they seem a little bit off the fingers. Like, even though my fingers are right here, just give a little squeeze. Yeah, I'll have to see. In game, these triggers feel really cool though. I can't wait to test these out. Get the software going and I wanna try a hair trigger, you know, because I'm so used to the PlayStation. I don't know when it actuates, but like for the input. And this one too, you know. I mean, I don't mind the distance. It's just I would like to just be able to, you know, tap it. These feel really cool. So, uh, yeah, nice case. Comfy controller. Oh, yeah, the weight. Let's see. Uh... All right, it's lighter than the PS5 controller. I don't know about how much, but All right, let's see. Stock. Oh, it's probably gonna be lighter or the same same hand oh yeah this is heavier than the ps4 but lighter than the ps5 i i would imagine because you know they got all that haptic stuff in here they got this adapted trigger stuff but yeah uh i'm really looking forward to playing with this controller i mean controller's nice but it's all up to the player too so 
uh, yeah, just stay tuned for any future updates. Um, maybe I'll put one up on about this controller, maybe in a couple weeks. I really don't know, but, you know, got this from Amazon. I'm not sure where they sell them at, but I got mine from Amazon. I wanted a pro-type controller because the PS5 wasn't offering anything with this uh, type of back button attachment. I heard they got a patent on it, but, you know, they... Eventually, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they did the VR2 patent, and then now, like, they did it, the patent last year sometime. But now they actually have, like, information on it and the build and stuff. But hopefully they come out with one of these for this stuff. I think that would be perfect. You know, the little buns back here. It doesn't fit. It, like, it's totally different. Let me just show you how different it is. <clears throat> See the PS4 got these little, I don't know what it would be called, but that's like a slot right here, and boom, it goes in like that. As for the PS5 controller, uh, yep, doesn't, nope, it doesn't have that slot, and I doubt it would even, yeah, it's just too, this, this distance here is too great to fit in here. So, uh, yeah, that's the video. And to show a unboxing video, tried to get this in one shoot, and that's hopefully that's what I did. I, s I seem confident in posting this. These are the weights. Um, I'll probably try out these weights later, but it's pretty interesting. So, this is the controller. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention it got these settings got the profile the uh wired uh wireless um i'm not too sure what these were for but you know it got the uh volume up mic um four buttons i think this was about 140 to like 150 i can't remember exactly so it's a lot cheaper than um well fifty dollars i guess fifty sixty dollars then a scuff or i don't know I, I know they got like scuff impacts and stuff like that but you know i wouldn't mind trying one of those it's just you know i wanted to try this because it was a little bit cheaper and you know it didn't seem that bad so we'll see how it goes and um oh yeah i think the astro uh, i think i remember Astro C40 TR or something like that. This is another controller that, that I've seen a lot of videos. Um, <clears throat> like they compare the two. But you know that one has like uh, all sorts of like analog. You can move the analog sticks around from here to here. by like unscrewing the thing. This one you can't. I don't mind. It's offset from the regular it's side by side. Uh, yeah, so it's offset. It should be interesting. All right, everyone. Have a good day and take care. Be careful. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for the next one.